Hey everyone, this is Nick from Quality Business Machines, and in this video we're going to show you guys how to access the fisheye settings and apply them to your layout afterwards. So the first thing we're going to want to do is bring up our content list, which we have up here, and we'll go down to our camera list and go to our fisheye. Now from there, we'll right click on the camera and that will bring up this drop down list right here and we'll go to our fisheye settings. When we click this, a secondary window will pop up and it looks like this. And what this shows is one of our basic views. So you can drag any of these windows if you'd like to see what the screens do. But if we right click from here, this fisheye options tab will come up and here are all of our fisheye settings. So basically there are four standard modes for the fisheye if we hover over camera mode. The first one is quad view, which is what we're looking at here. It has four standard quad splits and you can point them in whatever direction you'd like. Right click, go back to our fisheye options. And the second view is a 360 degree view. So what that does is it gives us two splits at the top to point in whatever direction you'd like. And on the bottom here you'll see this nice long stretched out window. What this actually is, is end-to-end -end 360 degrees, the view that the fisheye is getting. You can click on this 360 degree view and it will point whatever window you're attached to directly at that shot. Now let's go back to our fisheye options, camera mode, and we have the dual 180 degree mode. If we click on that, uh, pretty straightforward. There's 180 degrees on two different screens. So say you had a camera parked in the middle of an aisle, you could point it down each aisle and you would be missing absolutely nothing within your shot. 360 degree coverage split right down the middle. And you can also drag those and turn and the corresponding 180 degree screen below or above will always stay uh, with the exact opposite 180 degrees. Let's go back to our fisheye options. And our last mode is single view. What that does is it just populates one big window and this is kind of our source image right here. You can click anywhere you want on the screen and drag around and point it wherever you'd like. All right, let's go back to our fisheye options. So uh, if you look down here, you'll see uh, a line that says adjust auto pan speed at top left channel. It's a lot of words there, but basically what that allows you to do is set up an, a, a window that will automatically uh, pan for you and try to cover the room um, basically like the PTZs do, and you can set the speed here. So from the single view, it just does the single shot, but if we go up to our quad view, it leaves us with one camera panning around at all times and then the other three are free to look at whatever we'd like. So from there, once you've figured out which camera mode works best for you, the quad view 360 dual 180 or single view, you'd click OK. That window goes away and if we come back to our camera list within our content list, we go over to our fisheye, we'll see this little plus next to the camera name. If we click on that, it is now populated with the fisheye settings that we've set up for ourselves, And we can just drag over whichever one of those views we'd like into whatever window works best for us. So I can drag over the 360 degree panning view or a standard singular view to point at whatever I'd like. We can drag and drop our source material in here like that. You can always right click and remove any window you would not like to be there and replace it with something else. And point them wherever you'd like. Keep in mind, even if you're missing something within your camera splits, it's still recording and the footage uh, of the area you're not looking at will always be there. All right, guys, that's how you uh, access your fisheye settings and, and set them up for yourself. Thank you for listening and we'll see you on the next video.